Hi, everybody. I'm James Cebulski for EA Sports. Rosters are ready. Everyone's set to drop the puck on this EA SHL Club matchup. Great energy both inside and outside the arena tonight as we are just moments away now from puck drop. And this one is officially underway with the puck dropping. Oh, a big time save by Wagner! And it's kicked away. Here's an offensive chance. Hard hit frees up the puck. And they got caught up in traffic and hits a stick. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. We're still in the early stages of this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Michaels won the faceoff. Jackson scooped up the puck now here inside his own zone. And a good heads-up defensive play in the open ice. And the puck clears the zone. They'll be forced to leave as well. Puts it on net. Worked in traffic. Moves it to lead. Here's a shot. And that goes off. The club play continues here. That's moved up ahead. Off the left wing and into center. Delayed penalty score! Well, with the delayed penalty, they get their opponent running around, James, and they wind up scoring, so that's gonna nullify their power play, but it doesn't really matter. They got one on that one. Very effective. Well, this winds up in the back of the net from distance because he lets it rip. He gets all of his power behind it, but it's a quick release with his head up that tells the story here, James. Pittsburgh's drawn first blood here in this one by getting on the board first. Uh, and that's exactly what you want to do. You want to play with the lead, not behind it, James. And now it's what they do next. They created some energy for themselves. Now it's about continuing to attack and find the back of the net again. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Moves the puck. Good fight for the puck along the boards. That's a great heads-up play to break up the pass and reads the play perfectly and picks off the pass. He's got a step. Oh, and I'm not really sure what happened there. It looks to me like he couldn't make up his mind what he wanted to do, and in the interim, he ran out of space. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Great reach with the poke check. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Jackson's got it in the defensive zone. Takes the feed at center from the right wing. There's the whistle. We got an offside. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. We got a 1-0 game to this point. Michael's quick stick lands on the puck here in center. Turns that aside with the glove. Reaction time is everything when you're a goaltender, and that's why you see from a young age them working on all of those different drills to help them with these kinds of saves. Just flash the leather and make the save. What a glove hand. Pittsburgh's up here in the first, and they could easily be up by more based on what they've done offensively. Saunders wins the draw inside his defensive zone. California's got a hold of the puck. Pittsburgh's got control of it now from their own end. Moves the puck up to Michael. Can't get a hold of that pass. And it's a quick pass to Saunders. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck now. Rocks him. Lee's crossed the line and gained the zone. There's the whistle. We've got it offside. the midway mark in this period. Pittsburgh's up one zip. The Penguins take possession after that neutral zone face-off. 
Great defensive effort breaking up the pass. Picks off the pass. California's got the puck. Pittsburgh's got it in the neutral zone. Scoops up the puck here. Feeds it down low. Takes the puck along the boards. Stops that one. The Ducks will play it in their own end. Puck picked up in the open ice. Fires it on net. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. The Penguins have controlled this game here in the first period. More shots, more goals. Off the face, off, they take the puck. And he slides it quickly to Michael. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Here comes the call. Such a tough penalty to take when the game's within reach. They're looking for the equalizer, and now they find themselves shorthanded. And the power play unit takes to the ice their first chance to try to make something happen in this game. Well, first power play of the game, James. You want to start with possession and look to get shots to the net. It is the tone setter. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a faceoff? And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Cuts into the paint! Decides to think about it! Takes the feet in the middle of the neutral zone! Didn't mean to step on you like that, James, but looked at that hit and it just took me off guard. Slick feed. Routine save made by Wagner. Well, he's known for his shot, but it's the way he keeps his feet moving. He's shooting in stride, and he changes the angle, which is really deceptive for a goaltender to pick up on. But this one does, and makes the save. continue this power play here in the offensive end. Well, they need to be opportunistic with the power play advantage here, James, but also because the goaltender is extremely fatigued. You can see the wear and tear on him right now. And time expires on the power play. Both teams back to even. Well, this power play unit will not be happy. Not only didn't they execute, but they had a difficult time making even crisp passes and attacking seams. They got to be better. California's got the puck along the wall. Back to the blue line. Here's a blast. That's blocked. And that's broken up with a stick in front. There's the horn for period number one. As it comes to an end, we've got lots more action. Two more thirds of this one to go. Stay with us. Teams back on the ice are lined up, and period number two is about ready to go. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. California is trailing in this game because they haven't had any urgency around the puck. They've been chasing the game, and they haven't had any possession time. Lots of time left in this period. Pittsburgh's ahead, 1-0. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Great read with the stick. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. 
Williams takes the puck. The Ducks are across the line and into the offensive end. Branson and rips it! Oh, I think that pane of glass got busted after the shot as the whistle blows the play dead. Well, that was a blast of a shot. It just shows how strong the glass is and the technology. The new technology today, James, is it just spiders. But it has to be replaced because it's always about safety first. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Gaining speed through center and here they come on the attack. Shot! Oh, that turns off the mask! And he shakes it off here after making the save. Well, no smelling salt needed here. He's shaking it off as he takes one in the cage. He made the save, so that's gonna make him pretty happy. Pittsburgh's really put the pressure on here offensively, and they lead in the second. Michaels won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Here he is, shot in front. Came up with a nice save. With possession along the wall. Pittsburgh's got the puck now. California's got possession of the puck. Pittsburgh's looking to break out of their own end. Moves it to the middle, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. chances come when he gets to the front of the net and deflects the puck. That's his big tipper zone ability, guys, and it makes it hard for the goalie to make the stop. Offense his own face off, and he wins the draw. Gives up the body to block the shot. And the puck's booted away. Quick pass to Michael. From the top of the offensive zone here. Solid hit on the play. Breakaway. Misses the net. Well, and he had all kinds of time, James, and sometimes we have too much time, you can overthink it, and I think it's a product of that. Pittsburgh's been just savage in the offensive zone, and they lead it here in this second period. Michaels won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. And the shot does the traffic jam. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. Saunders takes possession right off the draw. Takes control of the puck. Passes it over to Lee. And we'll get a breather here with outside the call. Play ready to resume as everybody lines in for the faceoff. Saunders takes possession after that set of ice faceoff. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. From the point, looks to make something happen. And here's the pass to Michael. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Well, he's definitely not at 100%. Really banged up out there, but he wants to continue to compete, James. He's not looking to get off. Well, that hit had to hurt, James. Let's have another look at that one. I mean, he goes down hard, and when you have a hit like that, you're feeling it all over your body. More than half the period has expired. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Michael's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. The Penguins continue to lead in the second. They have been the busier team in the shot department, and as a result, they lead. Pittsburgh's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. And that will stop. Wagner's been dominant in the crease tonight. He's turned away a lot of high danger shots, and he's really found a way to build some momentum for his team, give him a real opportunity to win. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. California's gained possession along the boards. 
from the open ice. They gain the line. Here's a short pass to Saunders. We'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up. And they win the draw here in their own end. Quick pass across to Michael. The Penguins have it now. And that's off a stick. Quick shot. You'll need more than that to beat him. The Ducks look to start the transition game. Official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. They've got the defense outnumbered. Oh, and he makes a save. Just got enough to keep it out. Pittsburgh's had one song in their mind all night long. Shot, 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 shot. They continue to lead late in the second. Michaels won the draw there on the attack. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Now a quick pass to Gonzalez. To the low slot. Gets a piece of it and will play on. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Not a great penalty to take. I mean, you're down a goal. You're trying to fight to get back in this game, and now you find yourself shorthanded. The power play unit goes right back to work. Well, they haven't scored on the power play yet, man. It is a tough thing to do, and this is an earned opportunity. They practice. They know what they're doing. It'll come. Puck exits the zone. Pass to Bruner. Moves it quickly over to Michael. And he had an answer with that save. Sweet feet. Centering pass. And that goes off the body and arrive. Slides it across. Lays into the body. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. Nearing the 40-minute mark of the game. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. California's got the puck in the defensive end. And now he moves it quickly to Gonzalez. Club save. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Here in the late going of the frame, one nothing the score. The Penguins win the draw on their own end. Here they come on the attack. Here's a chance. Oh, what a stop with the stick by Wagner. All right, we've played now 40 minutes in this one and still a critical 20 minutes still needs to be played. Go stretch your legs, grab that final snack because the third period is just around the corner. And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. And they have dropped the puck here on the final frame. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now. Play. And that one going off the defender for an own goal. Well, you don't see that very often. And when you shoot it into your own net trying to clear the puck, that's ugly.
Pittsburgh sending a quick message here early in this third period with that goal, Cheryl. We are not slowing down. It's not slowing down, and it's entertaining when you provide offense right off the hop. We love to see it, and you know who doesn't? Their opponent. Handles the pass. Makes the save again. That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice, and make himself as big as possible. Quick feed to Saunders. California's got a hold of it against the wall. And that carry scores! And make it a one-goal game with that tally. And you can feel it coming, James. They've been playing way more aggressive. Their opponent's sticks are getting tight, and they're panicking a little bit. I'm telling you, the time is now. This next shift, they got to build on that score. They are in one now. The Ducks have made this a one-goal game here in the third. Might be the final dance in the third period, but there is a lot of runway as this team is on fire right now. And we saw that with that last goal as they're within striking. He scores! The captain leading by example! The goaltender, he's going to want this one back, James. The thought that he was set to position just... The blast of the shot, it hit him. He got a good chunk of it, but it went in. You can see the frustration in the body language. The Penguins jump out to a quick start here in period number three, doubling up their lead. And there was a different sense of urgency, wasn't it? And they get on the scoreboard, so now a two-goal lead, and that's quite a deficit for their opponent. You can see that they're just deflated right now. Saunders has the puck against the half wall. Oh, and he just got enough of that one to keep it out. And that's just out of reach. Wagner's got the puck, and he's going to hang on for a whistle. Well, there's only one reason that this game is tight, James. It's the guy between the crease. He elects to hold on to that one. He has been dynamite. Pittsburgh's turned good defense into good offense as they lead it early in this third period. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. We got a delayed penalty coming up. That trip right in front of the official's eyes. Can't get away with that. The Penguins are going to be shorthanded, tripping the call. First look tonight at their power play unit. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. Slides it diagonally to Michael. And he maintains possession of the puck here. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Steps inside the line. Fires it. Too much congestion blocks the shot. The Penguins gain control of the puck against the wall. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. Well, the game is played at such fast rate that sometimes you want to slow your opponent down, but if you take too much ice, it's going to be an interference call. They'll play some four on four. Not typically that we see four-on-four four action, although it's a lot of fun. You certainly know they practice it in practice. This is something that they're aware of. They know what they're doing. They want to possess the puck and try and create numerical advantage. Tries to make that cross-ice speed. Pittsburgh's penalty has expired. They now go to work on the man advantage. We've got icing on the play. Face-off coming up. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Michaels won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Looking to set up offensively. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Well, we know the time on ice numbers are all going to the penalty killers here, James, because it has been an onset, a parade to the penalty box. they got to find a way to play even strength. Pittsburgh's ready to go to work with a two-man advantage. 
Oh, the five on three opportunity. Sometimes you can move the puck around the perimeter looking for the perfect play. You gotta shoot the puck. California's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Here's a shot, denies him with the pad. Gonzalez has served his time in the box, but they remain shorthanded and he joins the penalty kill. Long lead pass into the neutral zone. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. And they clear that puck. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Reads it perfectly, breaking up the play. Shot! And he gets in front of that. Covers it up, and we'll get a stoppage in play. Saunders slides into the face-off dot, and they'll continue to try to kill off this penalty. Pittsburgh's got the puck after winning the defensive zone face-off. Skates across the blue line. The Ducks penalty killers come up huge. Well, this power play unit was stagnant, James. They didn't create any offense. They didn't get any pucks to the net, and there were really no chances. Grabs the puck at center. And he takes the feed. Loses his balance on the play. The Penguins scoop it up along the boards. That's a solid hit. Pittsburgh's regained possession of the puck. Takes the pass. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Wagner. Repetitive practice has made him an expert at this shot, James. He is so dangerous. He can get it off quick, and he can get it off in stride. He does just that, but the goaltender makes an incredible save. Here in the back half of this period, Pittsburgh's got a 3-1 lead. Michaels won the draw here in their own zone. He got all that hit. Williams has it in the defensive end. All alone! Oh, the eyes on the play! Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Pittsburgh's got possession here in the neutral zone. Moves it to Michael. Nice hit on the play there. Here they come, down the left side on the attack. Pittsburgh's got the puck against the boards. Takes a shot. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Wagner. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Here in the late goings of the period, 3-1 is where we're sitting. Fans being treated to a lot of offense thus far. Tries to feed it over to Michael. Right on the doorstep! Denies him in front. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Pittsburgh looking to close things out here. They've been the dominant team all night. Hard to see them taking their foot off the gas now. The Penguins get a hold of the puck in their own end. Quick pass to Lee. The Ducks pick up steam and are on the attack. What a steal in his own end. Pittsburgh's working hard in all areas of the ice. Defense is structure, and it needs to happen in all three zones. When you're talking about stick positioning, you're doing a great job of taking away passes. Take it along the wall by Lee. Nice zone entry from the left. Pittsburgh's got the puck. Michael's got the puck along the wing. And he takes a shot. Good save. Well, this is a really great save, James. I mean, you can see that he's battling for position. You can see him moving up and down as his eyes are trying to track and find the puck. That's without working your opponent and finding a way to make the save. The setters will glide into the dot. Off the draw, they take possession. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck now. And now it's to Bruner. 
final seconds of this one, and the home fans certainly appreciate that they got their money's worth tonight. Oh, they telegraphed the pass, and he picks it off. And that'll do it for ringside here. Pittsburgh's ability to dictate the pace of play, really the difference maker tonight. Now, James, the puck was on their stick, and according to Anna they certainly led in possession numbers. I think we could have said that right from the eye test. You can have the puck on the perimeter and not do anything with it. I thought they attacked well, and it's the reason they won. Hope everyone had as much fun as we did here tonight for all of us at EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski saying peace.